Hello there. Like a continuation for the previous video, how to plant the psychic seeds. Uh, today it's uh, 19th of October 2013, and uh, I have to do this video because uh, it took me by surprise, and uh, I will show you. I will show you why. I came today. Uh, like every day to this uh, uh, greenhouse where I keep my uh, seedlings and uh, my vegetable seedlings, my psychic seedlings and uh, where all the experiments has been done and uh, I discovered to my surprise after two weeks because the first uh, when I plant them I plant them on the 4th of uh, October and today it's uh, 19th of October and uh, after two weeks I uh, discovered, not even looking, not even expecting anything, I had a plastic which uh, I covered uh, the, the pots with and uh, I, uh, I noticed some, uh, some weeds which they coming out. This was uh, the result of a stupid thing which I did and I have to share with you, I mixed uh, some uh, compost into the into the mixture the reason I did that uh, thinking when uh, when the roots they will come out they will have some uh, minerals there but uh, it was a huge mistake and uh, I urge you not to do it and I came to pull uh, weeds but uh, to my surprise I noticed one of the seed actually germinating as you see and then I looked and I inspect uh, all of them and I notice in the second pot it's another one look at that beauty isn't that amazing look at that how green and beautiful and healthy looks like and uh, in, the not, uh, in the third pot it's another one that means it shows me it's life in these seeds and uh, they will come out, out very very nicely this is just the beginning the the rushed ones and uh, I hope uh, in a couple of uh, days or weeks to show you the full pots and the success rate of uh, of at least 90 percent <laughs> I expect uh, if you watched the previous video you will uh, you you noticed as I explained uh, in the fourth uh, pot I uh, planted the floaters and the floaters and uh, the shakers they the unmarked one and uh, and just the floaters they uh, the one with the mark and I, I will be very very curious to see if something will come out from there here uh, in uh, where I'm located the temperature dropped uh, in the last uh, couple of days up to 13 degrees which uh, it uh, was very surprising because uh, now here it's uh, summer we are in southern hemisphere and it's summer it's supposed to start the summer and uh, but uh, these days the temperatures they uh, drop and they climb as they wish and uh, what I did I uh, I kept a, a, a heater on low for the last three days and also, like I said, I covered uh, all the seeds with uh, with a plastic uh, sheet uh, on top of the of the greenhouse, which is here, and uh, it helped a lot. It helped a lot. Even uh, even uh, my seedlings, my vegetable seedlings. If you if you notice, uh, the success rate wasn't too good here. I don't know. I believe uh, I used it uh, uh, mixed which is first time when I used and uh, and uh, didn't work out too good I've got uh, trays where, where if you look here uh, normal letters uh, from uh, 12 uh, cells only 3 cells they, they produce something it, uh, very very bad I, I really don't know why it's not one tray full of uh, uh, all the cells to come out uh, I've got here uh, kind of pepper is called capia which uh, uh, I brought it you can't find it here in South Africa I'll just try to, to see how it comes out it's a beautiful uh, red uh, uh, pepper 
uh, not hot but uh, very very meaty and uh, beautiful and here it's another kind uh, which is called uh, gogoshari uh, like you see from uh, six uh, cells only one plant came out but uh, I've got some more seeds and uh, I will uh, keep trying and we'll see what is happening going back to my beautiful uh, psyched uh, seeds I'm uh, very happy and uh, surprised after such a short time uh, actually the seeds they did came out if you like the video don't uh, be shy to uh, press like and uh, I will keep you updated with uh, the development of the Trispinosus blue psyched uh, seeds development uh, here in uh, South Africa Bye.